Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream. This product retails for $44. This is one of the two new launches from First Aid Beauty from their Retinol collection. I was a little bit on the fence about trying out this eye cream because retinol eye creams don't really speak to me because I don't really have fine lines and wrinkles. I like to be preventive with it, but I usually don't like going for retinol eye creams, but they can also be corrective with dark circles and I'm not the best person to testify for fine lines and wrinkles and there won't be any long term results with this, but I am looking for a few specific things. This product is vegan, cruelty free, fragrance free, alcohol free, and comes in recyclable packaging. The highlight ingredients in this product include encapsulated retinol and squalene. To check out the full ingredient list, make sure you click the link in the description and go to their website. So the main things I want to look for with this product include, does it cause any sensitivity? That will actually be the main thing that I'm looking for, but I also just want to see what this product does for my under eye area and how it feels. Like I said, I'm not really looking for results with this. They do recommend using it for four weeks to get the maximum benefits. I will be continuing to use this product after this review, but during this review, those will be the main things I'm looking for. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I just used this product for the first time last night. I am trying to use this both day and night just to see if it is gentle enough for that. Definitely go off of your tolerance of retinol, but this product I can already tell is going to be a very gentle product. Retinol is tricky with me because sometimes I do experience sensitivity around my eye area. This product is a very creamy eye cream that just gives a beautiful lightweight hydration to the skin. It's definitely not anything that I think you'll be able to notice. I love that they include great ingredients in it both for hydration and also retinol. It does not take much of this product whatsoever. And it is a hydrating eye cream, but it doesn't leave a really shiny finish to the skin. It just kind of blends in, which I think is perfect for an eye cream. I can already tell it is designed to be corrective mostly because the hydration is not the main thing I noticed with it. But I mean, even then, it didn't cause any sensitivity around my under eye whatsoever. Now this morning I used it and it seemed to give a little bit of an instant color correction to my under eye area. It does have a little bit of a bright yellow tint to it, but it's not really designed, I don't think, to be a color correcting eye cream. I am gonna have to continue using it. So far, I am enjoying how gentle it is. I am interested to see if I notice anything with this eye cream. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I am back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. So I am very torn about this eye cream. The positives were really high, but there are a couple of negatives that I wanna to touch on with this product. I'm gonna start with the positives. It was a very gentle retinol eye cream. I didn't experience any sensitivity with it and I feel like the added ingredients to help hydration really counteract that potent active of retinol. Now this product is definitely one of the most gentle retinol products that I've tried but I haven't tried a lot of retinol eye creams. Another positive with this product is I did see a significant difference in my dark circles and it seemed to give a luminous finish to the under eye area. I do really enjoy that aspect of it and this is a product that I found myself wanting to use. It is extremely moisturizing and it does give a good hydration to the under eye area. It gives a radiant finish so it does seem to correct dark circles as well but here's the thing. I do know of some cheaper alternatives to retinol eye creams but I personally haven't tried them myself. I do feel like the Inky List retinol eye cream is something that I would want to try out in comparison to this because that product is nine dollars and this product is very expensive. There is definitely a huge price gap there and I've had friends try out the Inculus Retinol Eye Cream and they have said that it is very nourishing and hydrating for the under eye area. So I do want to just mention that product as a possible option as a cheaper alternative to this eye cream. Obviously the ingredients in this eye cream are very unique to it. I don't know of a cheaper alternative with these specific ingredients and this is not a personal testimony because I cannot testify for anti-aging benefits but I feel like after reading the ingredients of this product 
and feeling it myself. I feel like this would really be designed for anti-aging and that is the major selling point with this product. If you are looking for a brightening eye cream, there are so many better alternatives out there. But if you're looking for a retinol eye cream, I feel like if you're wanting anti-aging benefits, this may be the way to go because it has so many hydrators in it to complement the retinol in it. But the Inkyless Retinol Eye Cream, I feel like would be a better, cheaper alternative if you're just wanting to incorporate retinol into your eye cream. I do want to try out the Inkyless Retinol Eye Cream in the future so I can give a proper comparison to it. This is not a bad product. It's just very expensive. I want to provide a cheaper alternative that I feel like might act similar to this, but this was overall a good product. It was extremely moisturizing. I'm definitely going to finish it and see what other results I notice with it, but I don't see myself repurchasing just because I don't personally look for anti-aging retinol eye creams like this. And if I were to go for one, I would want to try out the inky list. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review. Thank you.